be the first fall sport back this weekend and on the girls side that means LaSalle's Kaylee Armitage is back for another crack at a state championship. JP Smallins has more with this week's hometown hero. She took home the girls state cross country title then added gold in the 3000 indoors. Kaylee Armitage lost her spring season to COVID-19 but not her speed. The LaSalle senior setting new marks in the 1505 K at elite events in Connecticut and New Jersey. And they kind of just popped up out of nowhere. Um, you know, it wasn't something that was on our calendar. So it was kind of like a big question mark as of like, where am I in my training? Um, and, you know, I PR'd there and, you know, I just blew myself away with the competition and I blew myself away with the time that I got um, in the 1500 and the 5K, definitely. So um, I think it was a great opportunity to have. Her new personal best sure to excite the coaching staff at Furman University. Armitage committed to a Paladin program that finished ninth at the NCAA Cross Country Championships last fall. Since the very beginning, um, I've loved Furman, and I just really love their approach to training. I love um, how individualized their training is, how hands-on they are with um, you know their four four distance coaches. They put all their resources towards the distance program, and I think that's um, you know really important for athlete development. Kaylee is hoping to become the second Rams runner to win back-to-back -back cross country crowns, but the run to gold will be difficult. Moses Brown sophomore Sophia Guerrilla won the 1500 and 1000 indoors and East Greenwich transfer Reese Fahey's finished six at last fall's Nike Northeast Regionals. I'm really grateful that I have um, not just one but two girls that can really go out there and push me to run my hardest and push me to train my hardest um, and I think that makes for um, some really fast times in the state which is something I think we all want to accomplish so um, it's more of like a team goal even though we're all competitors um, you know so I think that's really exciting to have them there. She's always the first one in practice. She comes in and she's already doing her stretches. I, I leave practice and I see that she's still doing more stretches. So she's always willing to give 100% every single day in practice. And I think at the end, that's going to pay big dividends. And I think we're going to see a lot of success. Um, I know she has big competition, but um, if there's anybody that can rise to the challenge, it's definitely her. With your Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, hometown sports hero, I'm JP Smallins.